Okay, we're going to talk about percentage decrease of a number in this case. And I've got two examples here to show the concept. Okay, the first one, number one, is 8 is what percentage less than 10? Second problem is 21 is what percentage less than 35? And for both problems, we're going to go about doing it in the same manner, more or less. So when you're looking at a percentage increase or decrease, you can just see where you're starting from and where you're going to. Okay, first one, we're starting at 10 and we're going to 8. Again, there's a difference there. We need to find that difference. The difference is going to be 10 minus 8, which is going to, is going to be 2. That's your difference that you're looking at in order to find out what your percentage is. In this case, it's a decrease because you're going smaller. So 2, that's the difference. Okay, the question is, how much of a difference from 10 is 2? That implies you need to do uh, division here. The way you do this is basically 2 divided by 10. Okay, put your, your dot there, decimal point. Pretty simple problem, 2. Okay, you got it. Now, the next thing is you need to convert your decimal answer, point 0.2, or 2 tenths, to a percentage. To go to a percentage, you have to multiply by 100. So, 0 0.20 times 100 is going to equal 20%. Now, again, is this an increase or a decrease? We're going from 10 down to 8, so it's going to be a decrease. So, is 20% decrease? So we say 20% decrease. Okay, that's your first answer. Second question is 21 is what percent less than 35? So what's the first thing we're going to do? Okay, first thing we're going to do again is find the difference. So take 35, subtract 21. Okay, and that's going to give us what? 14. 14. Okay, the next thing is we're going to compare this, the 14 to the starting point, which is 35. Again, the way we're going to compare this is by doing division to see how much of 35 14 is. So divide 14 by the number you're going from 35. So put our zero. Let's go through here. Let's see. Uh, three, four is five. Five is too big because that make that fifteen. Let's try four. Point four. Four times five is twenty. Carry the two. Twelve and two is fourteen. Another easy problem. Okay. Again, point four. What does point four mean? It doesn't mean point four. It means four tenths. Naked the percentage. You got to do point four zero in this case, but we'll just do that times a hundred equals forty percent. So we have a forty percent decrease from thirty-five to get to twenty-one. Again, this is all about percentage decrease of a number, and that should do it.